Wreck, 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 wreck League Podcast. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your family, tell your haters. Available on Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Radio Public, Podchaser, Good Pods, Pocket Cast, Breaker, and Stitcher. At Wreck League Podcast on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. At Wreck League Pod on Twitter. Episode 74, available now. Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? So, uh, I just watched Spider-Man No Way Home. It is the third movie in the MCU Spider-Man trilogy. The, uh, what, 26th, 27th? movie in the marvel cinematic universe one of them i don't know um like the ninth tenth spider-man movie overall um it stars tom holland zendaya benedict cumberbatch jacob Batalon, john favreau marissa tomei jamie fox alfred molina willem dafoe um thomas hayden church reese i fans jk simmons and uh, it is directed by John Watts. He directed Cop Car with Kevin Bacon and the first two movies in this series. If you've seen Spider-Man Far From Home, then you know the way that the battle with Mysterio ended. So we get the fallout, the blowback from that. Peter goes to Doctor Strange for help, cast a spell, help him out villains from other spider-man f- series end up in this movie end up in mcu spider-man's new york um i don't know what the quotes are for as you can see this was my most anticipated movie of the year i i adore the the far from home mid credit scene it is easily the best mid post credits in the MCU. Um, the just seeing it was rewatching it is still shocking. And they, what I what I thought was gonna go down was gonna be out of a two a two and a half hour movie. Let's say an hour and a half, an hour 45 of Peter Parker trying to clean up the mess left from far from home. Um, And then the last 45, 30 to 45 minutes dealing with building up to the Doctor Strange sequel. It's, I don't want to say it's 50-50. It's, it's balanced very well. There, there's a lot of Spider-Man trying to clean up the, the the backlash from Far From Home, but there's a lot of dealing with Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire villains. Their their explanation for how they're there is, is very well explained. I loved everything about this movie. It's, it's two and a half hours. The humor works. The action works. The story works. I geeked out more than I have in a theater in two and a half years. Um, a few times. I, like, people complain about the jokey Marvel writing. I'm not sure this movie was that funny. And when it was, the humor plays. Um, There is so much going on. But the pacing, the pacing works. I don't think it was so much. I don't think it was so much, okay, here's this cool thing. Let's put this cool thing on top of it before you can even finish reacting to the first thing. 
I just I think I think the pacing works. I'm I'm never bored. I'm on the edge of my seat multiple times. It's exciting. It's emotional. It's funny. It's it's everything that I hoped was gonna happen. It's everything that I expected to happen. And I was I was overjoyed, man. Like I th there there's one scene that I maybe overreacted to, but I reacted in such a joyful way that my eyes watered up. It was so cool. There are there are plenty. I don't. In a movie that deals with what this movie deals with, I don't really want to call it fan service, man. There, there are cool, very, very great winks and references. And like every time I just got a kick out of it, man. This, I pro I've probably said it five times this year, the Suicide Squad free guy come to mind. But this is one of the best times I've had in a theater all year. I've spent the past two weeks watching Spider-Man movies. And now that it's over, I want to watch them all again. Uh, Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel hero, so so take that bias for what it is. Um, there are, like, if I have to complain, I think some of the voice work, maybe sound editing, wasn't the best. And something dr strange says that leads to the the villains in the mcu world mc the into this universe it didn't i guess like my dog legacy merit um he he kind of explained that they touched upon it but i'm still like dr strange said this and not every qualifying character made it but whatever not that not to the point like i i'm not knocking it to the point that the points are coming off i i adored this movie man i i really like spider-man homecoming i really like spider-man far from home it, it upped the scale a little bit this ups the scale a lot of bit and i'm down um, I like, I, I just can't wait to see what happens with Tom Holland Spider-Man going forward. Um, yeah, like there was nothing I would change about this movie. I got a kick out of the mid credit scene. I got a, a punt out of the post credit scene. Uh, that, that's a harder kick. Um, yeah, like. This is something that I kind of want to do a spoiler, a spoiler heavy review about, but I might not. I might just like go balls to the wall, put the spoiler warning on my letterbox review and just talk about everything. So with all that being said, man, if, if you haven't caught on by this point, in my opinion, man, Spider-Man No Way Home is dope as fuck. Um, man, like I've, I've given three, five out of fives this year and I, I wouldn't change one. Um, Dr. Strange in the Multiverse of Madness comes in May. The, uh, Hawkeye show is about to be over. That's my next review is, is the Hawkeye show. Um, and then... I don't know what the next Disney Plus Marvel series is going to be. I heard Moon Knight, but it could be She-Hulk. It could be something different. So uh, have you seen Spider-Man No Way Home? And what you think about it? Positive, negative, somewhere in between. Let me know. Um, I recently haven't even been on with y'all. This is my first review in like three weeks. My most recent reviews are for House of Gucci um Encanto, Resident Evil, Welcome to Raccoon City. Check those out, man. Um next weekend I hope to watch and review The Matrix Resurrections, Sing 2, The King's Man. Hopefully, but probably not a journal for Jordan. I just don't think my theater is gonna get it. And American Underdog. But that comes out Christmas Day and I want I, I don't want to go see it on Christmas Day. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out, man. So um, like, subscribe, comment. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits.
Peace.